Now starting, all attendees are in listen-only mode. Hi, and thank you so much for joining us for our Give Miami Day training. Um, today we'll be discussing the Give Miami Day website, and we have our, um, our project manager from Kimbia, who is our technology partner for Give Miami Day. Her name is Haley Lamb, and she will be going through the, the new website for this year. Haley? Thanks, Janelle. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Um, I am excited to walk through a couple uh, of the new technical pieces related to Give Miami Day and make sure uh, everyone on the phone feels ready for next week's Big Giving Day. So you'll see the agenda on your screen right now. Uh, today I'm going to walk through logging into the Giving Day platform, how to update matching funds, um, and then I also want to touch on your donor data links, uh, the embeds. Haley, I'm sorry, we're not, I'm not seeing the screen. Great. Can you see it now? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, like I said, here's the agenda. Um, after I go through the three important links, I will also show a preview of the Giving Day website and what it will look like next week on November 17th. And then I will pass it back over to the Miami team to discuss the prizes and match minutes. Um, throughout the presentation, uh, Miami will be watching the questions as they come in. So feel free to type your questions as you have them. Um, we will also be recording this webinar, so after today, uh, we will get it posted on the Nonprofit Toolkit page of the website of GiveMiamiDay.org. So if there is someone on your team that was not able to join today and they need to access it, they will be able to find it there. So with that, uh, the first thing I want to do is um, talk about how you will be logging in to access a lot of the important information for next week. Many of you should be familiar with logging into the Kimbia Giving Day platform. Um, whatever contact email you use uh, to log in uh, for Nonprofit Central is the same email and password that you will use to log in to access your information for Give Miami Day. Victoria did still send out your links that we will discuss in just a little bit uh, via email. I believe it was last week. Um, but everyone can log in and access those same links as well as um, an important new feature related to the matching funds um, through the Kimbia Giving Day platform. If you, if you do not remember your password for givingday.kimbia.com, use the Forgot Your Password link that you see right there on the main screen and it will automatically resend your uh, reset password link to you so that you can create a new password. Once you get logged in, you want to make sure that when you toggle over here under the Change Organization dropdown, that you are under the Give Miami Day organization for yourself. Um, today, I'm showing you an organization that's called Test Organization. So where you see Test Organization is where you should see your organization's name. And uh, again, you want to be sure you're under Give Miami Day. You will not have access to these same links and the ability to edit the matching funds under the Nonprofit Central login. Once you are under uh, Give Miami Day, you'll see the logo and you'll also see a matching funds tab over on the left-hand side of your screen. So new this year, um, you have the ability to enter your available matching funds for your organization into the Giving Day platform. This number is going to display on your organization's profile and also track how much of your match has been met during the event. Um, it's really important to note that these funds are completely separate from other funds raised throughout the event, and they're not going to be reflected in the leaderboard. Um, they're also not eligible for prizes or for um, bonus pool dollars from the Miami Foundation. Um, it truly is a, a separate gift from a donor or a board member, a supporter of your organization, solely to match other donors' gifts on Give Miami Day. Um, so it's completely optional to have these additional matching funds, and it really should be viewed as a marketing tool leading up to and during Give Miami Day to get even more gifts from other donors. So if you do... Hey, uh -huh. Sorry, so we received a question about this that I, I want to be able to address. Um, and the question is, if you have a donor that wants to make a donation, um, wants to match the contributions that are made on Give Miami Day, can they include that match, process it through GiveMiamiDay.org, and um, have that qualify as this matching funds gift. 
So our recommendation is no. We want to make sure that these gifts that are being committed to you by an outside donor would be separately handled just because it would be misleading for um, individuals to think that you've now um, superseded whatever was committed um, in order to satisfy this particular match. So we recommend that it be separate and that the donor send you um, that matching portion um, at the end of the giving event. Great. Thank you for clarifying, Janelle. <clears throat> so once you have, if you know you have that match um, amount available, and, and this can be any time now through, throughout Give Miami Day itself on November 17th, if you happen to get a phone call of an excited donor, you can still log in and change this amount that you have there. Um, once you log into the platform, if you hadn't entered anything at all from the beginning, obviously the initial matching funds available would be zero. Um, and you just fill in the adjustment amount here and click save. Within a few minutes, this amount will start to appear on your um, organization's nonprofit profile. And I have a sample here of, of my test organization where you can see what this will look like prior to the start of the event. So from any time now through Give Miami Day, um, if you enter an amount there, it will display on your profile with the matching funds and the amount that's available. On the actual giving day, um, and we're going to talk about the leaderboard in just a little bit, but when I click over here, you can see that in addition to showing how much is available, it's also going to count down. So as you start to receive gifts, um, and let's say you receive one gift for $10, the, the matching funds available would then display as 490 of that 500 available. Um, so again, this is, this is an amount, it will not go into the leaderboard, it will not change your order on the leaderboard, they are not gifts that are eligible for prizes, but it will allow you um, to display that, um, that banner on your profile so you can really use it as a great marketing tool for your organization um, and, and really encourage donors to help you meet that match. Any other questions related to matching funds, Janelle? No. Great. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is everything that's under the links tab. So um, over here on the left, when you click on the links tab, you will see the three very important links that, again, Victoria has sent out via email, but it is also available here um, for you to access now. Um, the first is the profile page link. This is the link that will take you to your organization's profile page on Give Miami Day. You have the ability to get to this link now. Um, directly from the homepage of Give Miami Day by using the search feature or by using the category um, fields on the homepage of Give Miami Day. We highly encourage you to be using this link when you are communicating with your donors from now until November 17th. It will take your donors directly to your profile page where on November 17th, your donation form will be populating so that donors are able to give to you very easily. So Again, in all of your social media posts, email blasts, anytime you're communicating with, with your supporters, go ahead and use that direct profile page link um, so that you have that and so that donors can give to you very easily on November 17th. The second link is the donations report link. Um, when you click on this now, it will uh, download an empty Excel file onto your computer. Um, I do recommend that you, either through Victoria's email or by logging in to the Giving Day portal, click on this link and figure out where on your computer the file downloads. Um, most people have a downloads folder, but depending on your browser type and, and what kind of computer you're on, it can be in different places. So make sure you know where this report downloads to because you will definitely be accessing this a lot on the Giving Day. When you open the file now, um, before you have any gifts, it's going to appear completely blank. There will be nothing there. However, the um, report that I have pulled up on my screen right now um, shows you what it will look like when donations start to populate on the report. Um, a couple of things here that I want to be sure to call out. Uh, you will have access to all of the donor's contact information, including name, email address, mailing address. Um, their phone number if they enter it, as well as the couple extra questions that are asked on the donation form where donors have the ability to put in um, whether their gift is in honor or memory of anyone and if they have any special comments related for their gift. 
um, you will have access to all of that information. If a donor chooses to be anonymous, you will still see the gift amount information, how much they gave, but all of the contact information will be um, blanked out uh, again because the donor does not wish to share that information with you. This year, for those of you that have participated in uh, Give Miami Days in past years, uh, you probably remember there were two separate tabs related to online and donor advised fund gifts. This year, all of your gifts are going to be included in one sheet on your Excel um, download file, so you don't have to worry about switching between tabs. Um, if you have any online gifts from either the embedded donation form, the homepage, um, or the donor advised fund form um, that of gifts from the Miami Foundation, they will all be in the same report. The same is true for refunds. So if um, a donor meant to give $10 to your organization and they accidentally gave $100, um, and the Miami Foundation needs to do a partial refund, you will see that right in line with the gift here in column F. Um, instead of having a zero, it will show the refund amount, and column G will show the donation net amount. So you can still figure out exactly how much in total your organization has raised. There are also times throughout the event when a donor accidentally gives to the wrong organization and the entire gift needs to be refunded. Um, so if that's the case, once that happens, the gift disappears from your spreadsheet the next time you download it because um, the gift was not made to you. Um, so if that's ever the case and uh, you need to contact, and you have a question about that, you can contact the Miami Foundation. But most often it is because the donor accidentally gave to the incorrect organization and the Miami Foundation can get that sorted out on the back end. So just to note, um, so our minimum donation for Give Miami Day is $25. Um, so most of the time, the refunds that we see on Give Miami Day are just because someone accidentally, as Haley mentioned, added additional an additional zero, or they were using the multi-give option and gave to the same organization twice accidentally. So these are just common occurrences, um, common scenarios that happen on Give Miami Day, and we'll work directly with the donor and have that uh, situation resolved. Yeah, thanks for clarifying, Janelle. You see a couple test donations in here at that dollar eleven amount, so. You definitely won't see those on your um, report when you download that. You are able to click on the link and download the file as many times as you want. Um, and wh wh whatever time you download it, is the report will show real-time data up to that minute. Um, please be very careful with the hyperlink for your donations report. If you do copy and paste this and share this with others, Make sure you are only sharing it with people that should have access to your sensitive donate donor data. Um, it's, it's very difficult to um, fix those links if they need to be broken, so be extra careful with who you're sharing that link with. I also like to call out here that um, remember that this donation net amount does not include fees when you're seeing um, the, the totals here. It also, your report will not show if you win any prizes or any amount of the bonus pool from, from the Miami Foundation that will be granted to you um, in the following weeks post-event. So this is just the um, donation amount that has come through on the credit card. Um, and as in past years, the Miami Foundation will follow up with you after the event with a final um, donation amount from Give Miami Day that um, includes prizes, um, excludes fees, and, and then includes any amount from the um, bonus pool. Once you do have that final report from the Miami Foundation, I highly recommend you download um, an up-to-date donations report um, and save that to your computer or somewhere where you can access it in the future. Um, the links, uh, especially through your login, will not stay active forever. They stay for um, a few weeks post-event. Um, so it's really important that you save this report when you have the final copy so that you can continue to access all of this donor data. And also just to add, so when an individual is making a donation to your organization on Give Miami Day, the gift is ultimately being given to the Miami Foundation and then we're processing it to your organization. So it's very important that you provide information to your donors and let them know that they're going to see the Miami Foundation listed on their credit card. Um, 
if you provide them with this information in advance, they will be, um, when they're looking at their statement at a later date, they won't be confused and they won't reach out to us asking questions and, and requesting a refund. So it is very important that you provide that information to them. And in addition, any once we, we send the dollars to the nonprofit organizations at the end of Give Miami Day, if an individual requests a refund and it is granted based on um, communication from, their, from the credit card company to us, it is your responsibility to return those dollars to the nonprofit organization. And if you have any additional questions about that, you can definitely contact uh, Victoria. Great. Thanks, Janelle. Any other questions on the donations report? So on the donations report, um, I know that there was a question about individuals um, making donations if there is a limitation on countries. Um, so I'll just answer that question now. So we can receive contributions from an individual, any individual that's making a donation from Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express. Um, we work with our merchant processing company and our gateway to allow um, contributions to be received from anyone all over the world. Um, as you know, there's typically a prize that's associated with contributions that are made um, in different places across the world. So we make sure that we can receive a donation from anybody. So I would encourage um, you all to reach out to your donors and if they are living um, abroad for them to contact their credit card companies and just let them know that they're going to be making donations um, to U a U.S. based organization, the Miami Foundation, so that they can include that in their notes and it won't be flagged for any reason. Great. <clears throat> So the third and final um, important link that you will have access to when you log into the Giving Day portal is uh, the embed snippet. Uh, you have the ability to place the same donation form that is on your Give Miami Day profile page um, for your organization directly on any other website. Um, some organizations use this. I, I like to start out by saying this is completely optional and is by no means required. Um, However, um, you can and should direct donors to your organization's profile on Give Miami Day, um, no matter what. That's where you will definitely have a donation form populating. Um, if you choose to place the donation form on additional sites as well, um, this is the piece of, of code, the snippet, um, that is unique to your organization and that you can copy and paste and place on your website. Um, it acts the same way. So when the donation form begins to populate, all of the gifts are still made directly to the Miami Foundation. They, uh, the receipt is automatically sent to donors. Um, those same gifts will be eligible for prizes and it will track and, and, and display for your organization on the leaderboard if they do come through um, this form. And uh, we have a preview to show you um, prior to the giving um, event when you place this um, snippet on your website, you will see um, you, uh, it will display like this with the Give Miami Day logo and some language letting donors know that the event is on November 17th. So if you have already done this or if you plan to do this um, and you copy and paste the snippet, once you publish your site um, and you see this there, you know that the snippet code is, is set up correctly. Starting on November 17th at 12 a.m., the form will turn on, and the exact same form that's on your organization's profile page will take place of this and populate right here. Um, again, this is completely optional. Um, Victoria has posted on the GiveMiamiDay.org website um, on the Nonprofit Toolkit page some additional instructions for how to go about embedding the form based on different website types. But you will see here an example from another organization's giving day um, where a, a nonprofit has placed the form directly on the homepage of their website. Again, this just increases the vi visibility of the donation form. So the more places your donation form is, the more likely you are able to get uh, donations. Um, if you choose not to do this, that is completely fine. Again, um, we do recommend as a, as a best practice marketing um, tool for the event, placing some type of Give Miami Day logo or language on your website. Um, and you can just, again, have that link directly to 
your profile page on givemiamiday.org where a donation form will populate. Um, once the event is over, following um, at the close of the event at midnight on November 18th, uh, the embed form will disappear and it will go back to the same language um, that's populating prior to the event. And you can go ahead and, and delete that and get rid of that whenever you want. If you are going to do this, um, this is the good week to go ahead and get logged in or, or find your email from Victoria um, copy that uh, snippet and get it placed on your website so that we know that everything is working well. It can take some formatting based on different websites. So please go ahead and, and test that out now um, so that it's ready to go on November 17th. So we would encourage you again, as Haley mentioned, to start. If you plan on using the embedded form on your website, do that now, and just to, to reiterate, if you see that image where it says Give Miami Day and um, donations will be beginning at midnight, that's a good sign. So if you don't see this, then there's an issue, and feel free to reach out to Victoria as well. Um, there's some questions that are coming in about whether or not this embedded form can be used on Facebook. Um, unfortunately, it cannot, so we encourage you to use your um, your nonprofit profile page, your specific nonprofit um, form so that individuals can make donations. But if you are going to include this embedded form on your website, you could also share your, your organization's website as well. Um, and really just because if your organization, if you spoke with a donor and they're interested in giving to your organization, but for whatever reason they can't remember where they're supposed to make their donation, they're ultimately going to, to to look at your website. So it's very important that you have information about Give Miami Day and that you're pointing donors to go to givemiamiday.org and give to your organization on that day. Yes, definitely. Okay, so with that, I am now going to switch over um, and show a preview of what givemiamiday.org will look like um, starting on November 17th. Um, and you will see here, um, for those of you that have participated in the past, um, you should be familiar with what we call the multi-give donation form, the homepage of the Giving Day site, um, where donors have the ability um, to give to multiple organizations and only enter their contact information one time. Um, they will use the same type ahead search um, um, right here for the organization's name and add um, as many gifts as they would like. Um, they then fill out their contact and payment information just once um, and click submit. They will receive one receipt for all of the gifts um, that they make for this, um, and that receipt will list out each individual organization that they gave to. The search widget um, that is currently on givemiamiday.org continues to populate in the live event mode. So for your donors that end up on the homepage, um, they can find you by searching using the type ahead search feature in the top right corner. Um, this type ahead search will um, search for your organization um, name and your DBA name, your alternate name. So um, it's, it's very easy for donors to find you. There's also the category search that appears in the sidebar. Um, these will remain in the live event mode so that donors can click on any of these categories to find um, your organization's profile page as well. Janelle, do you want to talk about the new question that um, you guys have added related to the cover of the covering of the fees? Great. So each year after Give Miami Day, we put together a survey um, where we like to hear back from the nonprofits as well as donors on enhancements to the site. So this is one of many enhancements that um, we will be introducing for 2015, and this is the option to help cover the credit card and transaction fees for donations made on Give Miami Day. So as you know, um, the nonprofit organizations are responsible for the fees associated with Give Miami Day. The Miami Foundation does not collect a fee at all for um, for Give Miami Day. This is just a community um, event that we do at no cost. So this option would allow donors to elect in and cover the fees associated with your gift. Now this is an estimate. 4.5% is um, really, we're using this um, estimate based on the fee calculation from last year, which was approximately 4.3%. Um, we are estimating this amount um, just based on what 
what the credit card um, transactions look like on Give Miami Day. So these will help cover the fees. And at the end of your, um, at the end of the giving event and the report that you received um, from the Miami Foundation, you'll see a breakdown of individuals that have elected into this auction, and the amount that you'd be paying in fees will be reduced. So this is exciting, this is new, and based on some um, other community foundations that have put together giving days similar to ours, this has been a success in helping uh, nonprofit organizations reduce um, costs that they pay for Give Miami Day and um, ultimately receive additional dollars at the end of the event. Yes, and um, again, Janelle, I know we've talked about this a little bit in the past, but just so your organizations know, um, you all at the Miami Foundation have done an incredible job negotiating those rates, those credit card rates directly with um, the, the bank um, to keep that fee so low. That 4.5% is one of the lowest fees we see across, if not the lowest fee we see across the country for um, these giving events. So again, um, thanks to the Miami Foundation for all their work there. Um, the other thing that I wanted to call out on the, the live event um, page is just what your um, profile page will look like. Um, so again, um, opening up a, a profile page here, you will see, and let me go to a better one that has more, or we'll just go ahead and use this. Um, all of your profile page information that is populating right now will continue to be there. You will just see, again, that the leaderboard will populate as well as the donation form. Um, that will populate on your profile page, obviously, on November 17th. Um, and again, the same questions that are on the home page related to being anonymous, a first-time donor, and the cover the fee questions will be um, on this donation form as well. Um, so uh, the donors can enter that very, very quickly and very easily. This is, again, the same donation form that will populate on your website if you choose to embed um, the donation form there. And just to add about the cover the fee option, so um, if a donor chooses to cover the fee, that amount will be added. Um, so at the, at the end of the form, once you select that option and fill out your credit card information, there's an option that says show total, and the donor will be able to see what that total transaction would be. Um, just so that you know, so that you can let your donors know that the contribution that's tax, dedu tax deductible is for the full amount that's um, that's processed for Give Miami Day. So if a donor is interested in making a $25 contribution, that additional percentage um, will be eligible for, um, for tax deduction. So the receipt that the donor will receive will provide that information, but um, it's just a, it's a, a good um, piece of information that you can also provide your donors and let them know that they are getting that additional benefit for covering the fees. Yep, and um, exactly like Janelle said, you will see the gift broken out, the amount, and then um, it automatically calculates the 4.5% and tells you what that tells the donor what that calculated fee is, so they can see the overall total before they click the final submit button. There, um, they have the ability to go back and change it, um, and once they've switched from yes to no or no to yes or vice versa, they can update the total so that then they see their total gift is back to the 25 they're choosing not to cover. Um, the additional amount of 4.5%. Perfect. Um, so the final thing that I want to show um, on the live event site is the leaderboard page. Um, this has stayed um, very similar to, to last year's event. Um, all of the organizations um, that are participating in Give Miami Day will be listed first on the leaderboard. As soon as the event starts, um, the organizations um, that started out being sorted by alphabetical order um, will begin to be sorted by the number of total gifts. Um, and then um, individuals visiting the site have the ability to click on any of these headers um, to see the organizations that are leading based on total dollars, total gifts, or if they would like to go back to the alphabetical order, um, they will see that as well. As the Miami Foundation begins to award prizes throughout the event, those will populate on the prizes tab of the leaderboard. Um, so you will see your organization's name listed there, the prize name and the amount um, of that prize that was awarded to your organization. There's a category leaderboard that um, depending on which category you are in based on your registration through Nonprofit Central, um, it will display the total gifts and total dollars raised in each of the categories. Um, 
And then every organization is listed in either a small, medium, or large group based on the annual operating budget. Um, so you will see your organization's name there as well. Again, these small, medium, and large leaderboards um, by default will sort by total gifts once the event starts. But anyone coming to the site can, can click on the headers so that they can see it sorted in a different way. And just to note, since we're looking at what the live site will look like, um, if you have any contributions that you expect um, to be given to your organization through a donor advised fund at the Miami Foundation, you would direct your donors to make the contribution through the Give From Your Fund option um, on the, the header of the GiveMiamiDay.org site. So encourage your donors to um, to first get to GiveMiamiDay.org, click on that on that um, header, and then complete their form. Um, there's still time. If you have a donor that's considering making a major donation on Give Miami Day, please have them reach out to our offices. We can assist them with setting up a donor revised fund. Um, and the benefit of setting up a fund prior to Give Miami Day is that the gifts um, that they send to your organization or any other organization through their fund will not be will not be assessed any kind of credit card or transaction fees. So just another way that the nonprofits can receive additional dollars at the end of the day. Great. So with that, um, Janelle, I will hand it back over to you to talk about the prize pool this year. Great. So the Miami Marlins have been a sponsor of Give Miami Day since our um, inception in, in 2012. So we're very excited to have them on board for our fifth annual Give Miami Day. Um, the prizes this year that will be available is $26,017 in prizes. The largest prize that's available will be for $2,000 $2,017 in honor of the Miami Marlins hosting the All-Star Game in 2017. Um, so we encourage you to look at GiveMiamiDay.org um, slash prizes for a complete list. Once you get to um, GiveMiamiDay.org and look at this list, the prizes are broken up based on time and based on milestones. So for example, a time prize, an example of a time prize would be one, um, the um, Siesta prize would be available for, um, I think I believe it's $1,000 for the organization that would be receiving the most number of donations during a specific time. So we encourage you to um, look at the prizes, become more familiar with what the prizes um, currently state. And um, here, perfect. Thanks, Haley. Um, take a look at the prizes, become more familiar, start developing what your strategy is going to look like for Give Miami Day. It's important to, to note that um, an organization can only win one prize. So Consider, um, you know, look at the whole list and see um, what you can have, what you can encourage your donors, um, how they can direct their gifts on that day. Um, it's also important to note that the, the milestone prizes that are available this year, some of them are based on um, where the donors are coming from. So, for example, the Friends of Faraway Places prize, um, as well as the Most Patriotic prize. Um, so this is an easy way that you can get your families um, or even friends in, in some other faraway places to, to participate in Give Miami Day as well. Um, and we have a, a, a favorite prize coming back this year, the Social Media Star Prize that will be given to the organization that uses uh, the Give Miami Day hashtag and the most number of um, unique tweets by 11 p.m. on Give Miami Day. So take a look at the prizes, and um, we look forward to seeing how um, you all participate this year. One of the other exciting announcements that we have uh, for this year for Give Miami Day is an opportunity called the Miami FC Match Minute. So uh, Miami FC will be sponsoring two minutes on Give Miami Day, one at 710 in honor of um, the $7.1 million that we raised last year in 2015 and another at 3.05 p.m. that will be um, in honor of our, um, our area code. So, if you have donations that you um, have already, donors have already committed and you have a handful of pledge cards that you'd like to process, this is, is an easy way of trying to um, double the impact of your donor's original gift. So how it will work is donations, the 
during these two minutes will be matched one for one. These are donations between $25 and $100, and each match minute has a pool of $7,500. So once that minute is over or the $7,500 is um, exhausted, that's when the opportunity is over. And at the conclusion of Give Miami Day, the following day, we'll be making an announcement. We'll be sending an email to the donors that have their gifts matched one for one. So they'll be aware of that. And then at the end of Give Miami Day, um, before the, the final distributions are made to your nonprofit organization, you'll receive a detailed uh, report from the Miami Foundation that breaks down all the um, all the credit card gifts, donor advised fund gifts you've received, um, in addition any prizes and what the bonus would be, and, um, and if you've received any match minute support, that will also be included in that report. So the last incentive um, that you're, most of you are, are most likely um, aware of is the bonus pool. So the bonus pool is um, a pool of dollars that the Miami Foundation and our sponsors um, fundraise, and this pool is available to donations between $25 and $10,000. So at the end, at the conclusion of Give Miami Day, we look at all the donations made on the day of, and whatever that pool of dollars is, it will be distributed amongst all the contributions made on Give Miami Day. So currently we have 43 sponsors that have um, committed to Give Miami Day. This is approximately $400,000 in support. This does not include a donation that the Miami Foundation will make to the bonus pool. That's determined after Give Miami Day. Um, and once that uh, bonus percentage is calculated, an announcement will be made um, to the general public. We will be processing, um, we'll be creating a press release and we'll be sending a notification to the nonprofit so that they're aware of what that bonus percentage is as well. Um, there's still time to, to make contributions to the bonus pool, so if you have a donor that's interested in supporting Give Miami Day, please let us know. Um, there will also be a an option available on Give Miami Day um, for individuals to make a gift to the bonus pool. In the past, we've received around thirty-six to forty thousand um, dollars on the day of, so there is still time for this pool to continue to increase. Um, but we're very, very thankful to our partners, um, the Knight Foundation, the William R. Watts Foundation, and you know. And and all the other partners that are listed here. Um, without their support, we wouldn't be able to have um, the impacts that Give Miami Day has, and so we encourage you to thank these donors as well. Um, and this just only encourages them to continue to participate and to continue supporting the Miami Foundation in this, um, this event. So we encourage you to reach out to any of these sponsors, any that you're familiar with, and say thank you. So we'll open it up to questions. We have several here already that um, I'm happy to share. Um, there was a question about the match minutes, um, and the question was if a contribution of um, $5,000 is donated at one of the minutes, will that result in a final gift of $10,000? And the answer to that question is no. So contributions that will be matched one for one are only contributions between $25 and $100. So um, if you process a gift of $1,000 on Give Miami Day that's made within that minute, that gift will not be matched, um, 1, 000, matched one for one to include a, a total gift of, of $2,000. Let's see. So there's a question here about more information about the social media challenge. So if you have a question about how we determine what's um, the most unique tweets by 11 p.m., we encourage you to, to reach out to our team, and we have our communications team on hand that can answer questions about that particular gift. Um, there's another question here about what is a unique gift. So a unique gift is defined as one individual making organization to a gift to one organization. So for example, if you're trying to um, if you're trying to have individuals make gifts 
to um, win, for example, the Siesta Prize. If you have one donor make four contributions in different amounts, that still counts as one donor that's making that contribution. So um, our system is you know, weeding out any duplicates, so we encourage you to, to try your best to diversify your donor base and have um, additional individuals participate in Give Miami Day. There's one thing that I wanted to mention, Haley, if you could get back to um, the Give Miami Day site. Um, one of the other enhancements that we made this year was for nonprofit organizations to, to further self, um, I self classify their program. So um, once you start looking at um, a particular category, there's a drop down menu called subcategory. And we use we created this feature this year really to, in an effort to help donors discover new nonprofits. So we encourage you um, as you receive as you as you pull your donation report, if you see a donor that's making a new contribution and listing themselves as a first time donor, um, reach out to them. We've seen so many success stories over the last four years of of um, nonprofit organizations connecting with new individuals um, each year and a, don a donor that maybe was a $25 donor, donor the first year has turned into a volunteer, has turned into um, a major donor, and hopefully, you know, a, a board member down the road. So we really encourage you to to thank donors in real time. Um, one more question here is about whether or not the website is. Uh, mobile friendly. Um, Haley, do you want to answer that? Yes, definitely. So um, the, the website is mobile friendly. Um, when you go, donors will um, have the ability to make a gift directly um, from a mobile device or tablet the same way they would um, from the desktop. So when the, um, when you see the, um, when I shrink my screen down here, you will see the, um, let me get back to the home page. Um, to the size of what a mobile phone looks like, the donor will get a message. Just one second here. Um, the donor will get a message that in order to make a gift, they need to rotate their device. Um, this is just on the home page because of the way um, the donation form displays on the home page. It needs to be that little larger size. Um, that width so that all of the fields can populate. Um, so that's how the donation form will display on the home page. On your profile page, once you get onto that, um, a donor can give no matter which way they have their phone turned. So um, the, the long ways will display the, pro the donation form in that way as well. Um, and then the leaderboard page, it too is mobile friendly, so it shrinks down a little bit. Um, but those two areas, both the donation form and the leaderboard, um, are the two most frequently visited pages um, on the giving day because everyone is wanting to give and, and see how the standings are doing. So both of those um, will be definitely viewable from, from a mobile device and um, donors can get to every leaderboard page um, when they um, are on their mobile device and they can also um, very easily access your same profile page with the same hyperlink um, and, and make their gift um, from a mobile device. Great. Um, another question here is whether or not match, um, I guess the matching funds will display through the embedded widget. And as Haley mentioned, the only information that will be available if you're utilizing the embedded form on your website is the donation portion of the form. So that includes the name of the individual, their address, and, and what the gift amount is. So if you want to direct individuals to get updates on your organization's performance, you can just tell them to visit GiveMiamiDay.org and look at the leaderboard or just to look at your direct nonprofit profile link. Great. And again, just a reminder, um, the recording of this webinar and um, uh, the slides will be posted on the Four Nonprofits page of the GiveMiamiDay.org website here um, later today. So you can access both of those things there. And the, the friendly URL 
for that page is givemiamiday.org slash nonprofit toolkit. Um, so we'll be still making updates to the website um, over the next couple of days. Um, and so we look forward to your participation next year, I'm sorry, this year, um, and look forward to you participating again in the future.